Hey, how's it guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an external data connection to Google Sheets in BigQuery using BigQuery API in Python. So one of the use cases that you want to create an external connection to Google Sheets in BigQuery is that uh, you can directly use BigQuery SQL to directly create table from Google Sheets in BigQuery. So here in my Google Sheets, uh, this is going to be the data set that I'm going to create a linkage in uh, BigQuery. And I download the data set from data SF website from the 311 cases uh, data set. And I'll link the link in the uh, description below. All right, so here, uh, let's dive into the tutorial. So uh, there are a couple steps that we need to do uh, before we can create the uh, connection. So first, you want to navigate to console.cloud.google.com. Then you want to select the project. Then you want to go to navigation menu. APIs and services, then go to library. Now here we need to enable two uh, separate API services. The first one is going to be uh, Google Drive service. So you can search for Google Drive. It should be the first item. And just make sure that you enable Google Drive API service. And the next one is going to be the uh, BigQuery API service. So we can search for BigQuery. It will be uh, BigQuery API. And just make sure that you also enable BigQuery API service. Now we can dive into the uh, Python script. Now from the import statement, here let me uh, increase the zoom. I'm going to import time module from google.cloud. I'm going to import BigQuery module. And to authenticate your service account credential, we'll be using the uh, google.auth uh, module. Oh, and this one more thing I forgot to show you. Right, so here let me uh, go into my service accounts uh, console by going to navigation menu, then go to APIs and services, then go to credentials. Right, so here I want to copy uh, the service account email. In this case, for my BigQuery project, it's going to be uh, this uh, BQSA983 as SQL for BigQuery uh, email address. So I'm going to copy this email address. Then I'll go into the Google Sheets that I want to create a connection to. On the top, click on Share. And here, just make sure that you share uh, the Google Sheets document with the uh, Google BigQuery service account email address. And if you don't want to do that, then you can uh, set the Google Sheets as public, which is going to be uh, set that to anyone with the link will be able to access the data set. So it's really up to you. And I already share this uh, Google Sheets document with my uh, service account email address. Now let's go back to our Python script. All right, so here we want to uh, specify the uh, scopes that we're going to use to ask the uh, APIs to get permission to our service account. In this case, we're going to uh, use google.off.default method. Inside the method, we're going to uh, specify the scopes based on the uh, service and the uh, permission level that I want to grant to the uh, service account. In this case, I'm going to grant uh, full permission. And this one's going to be for uh, Google Drive. And this one's going to be for BigQuery. Now I can construct my BigQuery client object using BigQuery.client class. And I'll provide the credential. In this case, it's going to be based on the uh, default method. Oh, and I forgot to mention that we execute the uh, default method. It's going to return a tuple with uh, two elements. The first element is going to be the credential. And the second element is going to be the uh, project information that are tied to the project based on your uh, service account. Now going back to the BigQuery client object uh, creation. So inside the uh, client class, I'm specifying the credential and the project. Now, when I link my Google Sheets uh, to my BigQuery account, and for this example, let's say I want to create a linkage under my uh, SQL for BigQuery project, followed by the uh, JJ data sets data set. And when you create a linkage or external connection linkage, BigQuery is going to uh, treat that linkage as a table, except that in uh, BigQuery, it doesn't actually hold the uh, actual storage. Now here I'm going to create my data variable and I'm named the variable data set ID. 
and it's going to be the uh, DSS address. Then I want to construct my DSS reference using client.getDataSet and providing the uh, DSS ID. And I'll name the uh, DSS object as DSSet. And once we construct our DSS reference, we need to configure the external table information that we're about to create. All right, so for the uh, table name, uh, let's name the table SF211 cases. Now going back to my Google Sheets document. So from this table, I have uh, six columns. And based on the uh, data set that you have, you need to uh, specify each column's data type. And for this exercise, I'm going to uh, set all the columns data type as string. Then I'll create my table reference using bk.table class. Inside the, uh, this table class, I'll provide the uh, table reference and the uh, table schema. Now for the table to be created as an external uh, linkage table that link to my Google Sheets, we need to create an external config object and specify the data source type. And for Google Sheets, it's going to be Google underscore Sheets. And I'll name the output as external config. And to link to the Google Sheets document, so uh, here I'm creating a sheet URL variable, and it's going to be the URL to the uh, Google Sheets document, and it's going to be this URL here. Then from the external config object, I'm providing the Google Sheets URL in a list. And within my Google Sheets document, and because uh, I can have multiple tables or multiple tabs, we need to specify that uh, which worksheet that we want to use. All right, so here uh, from the external config object, I need to uh, specify the uh, data source format again. And I think this one's optional because I already uh, specified that here. But I like to set the uh, data source format again uh, just for uh, safekeeping. And here we can uh, specify if we want to skip a row or two. And here I'm skipping the first row, which is going to be the header row. And for the table records, it's going to be from count A to count F. And here we need to uh, specify the uh, worksheet name. And this line here is setting the uh, external table connection configuration using this uh, external config object because uh, inside this object, we basically provided uh, all the uh, configuration detail that we need to create the linkage. All right, so uh, at this point, the table is not created yet because we're still configuring the uh, table's detail. Now to actually create the table, we need to reference the client object that create table and we'll supply the table object to actually create the uh, permanent table connection. Now let me go ahead and run uh, line one to line 40 to create the uh, table reference. Now if I run the create table method and I'll create the uh, table itself. Now if I go back to my bcreate console, refresh the page. And here's the SF311 cases table. Now let's dive into the uh, table detail first. Here's the uh, table info and here's the external data configuration detail. So here we have the uh, Google Sheets URL, source format, how many rows we want to skip, and the data range. Now let me go back to my VS Code and I'm going to create another uh, Python script. And I'll name this as uh, let's do uh, 311 report x.py. And let me terminate this session. So at this point, I can basically write SQL statements to query directly from my Google Sheets data. And here uh, I've got to construct my client object. And the uh, time module, as well as my uh, data set and table reference. So this line here is my SQL statement. And from this uh, SQL statement, I have a work condition to return the records where the status is equals to closed and category must be a noise report. And we can run the query using client.query method 
and providing the SQL statement. And because uh, when you execute an operation with BigQuery API, the operation is going to be assigned to a queue. And here, I'm inserting a while loop to wait till until the job is complete. Otherwise, I'm going to wait every two seconds, then uh, reload the uh, job status. And once the query is complete, I can uh, reference the query job object that we saw to return the uh, report result. And it's going to be the uh, data content itself or the data set content itself. At this point, you can uh, export the data to however format that you want. And in this case, I'm going to export the uh, data set as a data frame object. And the print statement is going to print the uh, data frame object data set. I'm going to run the Python script by pressing F5. Alright, so here I'm getting an error, the 404 uh, not found error. Oh, so I know why, because uh, this should be lowercase. Now let me try again. So here I'm getting a, a 403 access denied error. And the error message is uh, permission denied while getting drive credentials. And I say I know why, because uh, we are accessing Google Sheets uh, via Drive API. So we actually need to uh, provide the credential in which we can reuse uh, this piece of code here. So I can simply grab uh, these two code blocks. And I'll paste that into my uh, report script. And to authenticate, we need to use google.auth module. So from the uh, client object, we need to uh, supply the credentials and the project itself. All right, so let me try again. I think this time we should be able to execute the report successfully. Now let me try again. So uh, here's the DFN data set based on our SQL statement. Yeah, so I guess uh, the issue was that we need to uh, provide the credentials when we construct our client object. But if we look at this uh, DFN data set, and based on my uh, SQL statement, I can see that from the uh, SQL query, it returned 290 rows and six columns. So this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video, and hopefully you guys found this video useful. And I'll post the source code in the link in the description. And feel free to post your question or your feedback in the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.